And first and foremost, we want to say, call Halloween, La Yahweh, La Hashem, Yahweh Shah, right? That's all praises to the Most High God in the name of His first begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? It's, your, uh, it's Sakari Philly, right? We're coming back at y'all again. Uh, your brother, your Rumya. Right, that's the war. Mm -hmm. So we got it, Sean. Uh, yeah, and we and we just here to do another uh, feed the flock because you can't stop feeding the flock, man. Right? This is why Yahweh Shah told Peter three times, you have to feed the flock, right? Because if you ain't doing nothing, and then I mean that's you kind of in the way. So that's why we have to feed the flock. You right. gotta do what Yahweh Shah said, right? Get um Matthew, Matthew uh fifteen and uh, fourteen, right? Get the uh um and the G G and T. Oh, sorry. Right, because what we finna go into real quick, and it ain't gonna be that long. Like what we finna go into is is to uh talk about you know, um, our people, other people, people that be on these comment boards, people that wanna you know, people that wanna try to come at our nets, people wanna try to tell us how to teach, and they up there pressing buttons. Like you wanna tell me how to teach, but you up here pressing buttons in your drawers probably. Yeah, you know I mean with you know with a Slurpee or a hot cocoa, right? So at the end of the day, you know, we call the feed the flock and edify our people, but we gonna bring this out, this lesson out, cause it's actually a really uh, valid point in this uh, this lesson, right? That your house shot uh, brought at uh, 26, but you gonna hold it though, read, uh, right, read that 15 and 14. This is the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 14. Come on. Let them alone. Do what? Let them alone. And that's what we finna do with people. Like we don't got time to go back and forth you know, you telling me how to teach from the comfort of your couch. You telling me how to teach from the comfort of a warm room, right? You know what I mean? Like, we we out here doing the labor, right? We was out there yesterday for three to four hours, right? In the, in the cold. That's why it says um, in season and out of season, right? We trying to do this labor, right? And, and, and store up spiritual gifts. Matter of fact, um, hold that, get that real quick. Um, it's in Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Right, stir up uh, spiritual gifts. Yeah, and treasures in heaven. Yeah, kind yeah, that, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, lay up uh, our spiritual treasures because it's what treasures you got here? Little trinkets, little jewelry. I mean, you can't die with it. So we're trying to stir up, uh, store up our uh, spiritual treasures, right? Store it up, up in heaven, right? Because it's nothing really much for us out here, right? Especially if you trying to do the work of your how, right? Is it what 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 is it for you out here? There's nothing for you out here but death. That's what's waiting for you around the corner. So read that real quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 20. Come on. But lay out for yourselves treasures in heaven. Right, no, just put some gold to the side. Treasures in heaven. Right, it's not wrong to put some gold to the side. Yeah, you know I mean, it's not wrong to even wear some gold, right? But the Lord says, store up for yourself treasures that's in heaven. Come on. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. Right, because all this stuff going to rust over a period of time. Right, and especially all this stuff that's in America, it's it's it's, it's nuclear missile food. That's what it is. Come on, for thieves do not break through nor steal. Come on, verse twenty one, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So that's that's where your heart is. Where you spend most of your time doing, that's where your heart is. That's where your mind at. Right, you you going around and and doing the work of thyself. Right, do as thou will. That's the will of Satan and the Satanist uh, Bible. Right, but we finna lead, lead these people alone, right? Right, um, because you got uh them. I know this is uh it been out for a minute, but you know Cardi B, uh, Megan Thee Stallion made the song uh WAP, right? You know, go to the gas station, uh, see over forty year old women hop out the car, up there diddy bopping and bouncing, you know, to the WAP song, right? You know, look like they somebody grandma, more than likely was older than forty. Yeah, you know I mean, look like you is somebody grandma and you bopping. To a WAP song, and then what you can't do, you can't go around and tell your granddaughter to to wear, you know, wear nice clothes, to not wear tight stuff, and not be out late when you doing the same thing. Where do you think she's getting it from, right? So that's why sometimes, you know, you try to tell me what to do. You know, sometimes you gotta kick the dust off of your feet with these people, right? Um, read it real quick in uh twenty verse six. Uh, no, twenty uh chapter twenty six, and you are gonna read verse twenty five. Right, get Amos uh seven and seventeen, right? Because that's because that's what it is. We I mean, you know, we fitting to leave some of y'all wicked niggas alone, right? And let the Lord deal with you. Yeah, you know I mean, come on, read that real quick. No, read that Amos then real quick, this seven seventeen. Book, this is the book of Amos, chapter seven, verse seventeen. Mm -hmm. Therefore thus saith the Lord, 
Thy wife shall be an harlot. Thy wife shall be a what? An harlot. Come on. In the city. And that's what we see. We see our woman being smuts, thoughts, you know, and everything else under the sun. Right? Everything that ain't good under the sun. We see that now. Right? I mean, this is why, you know, just just be just be what it is. If you if you fitting to be a righteous woman, be a righteous woman. You fitting to try to be a righteous man, be a righteous man, right? You got that? 26 verse 25. Sorry, right. oh, hold on. Get that real quick in the GNT. The GNT, because there's something important in there. Um, Sorry, right. 26 and uh, verse 25. And then, because our. They'll probably, they'll probably change it because it's, I was going to see these kids from 18. 26 and what? 26 uh, verse 5. To 28. No, they, you got a different version of it. Probably. Well, it is Bible read, but. All you gotta do is put the verse in. Right? Read uh, that verse real quick. This is look at Sirach chapter 26, verse 5. There are four uh, things. Uh, 25. 25? Yeah. This is look at Sirach chapter 25, verse 5. 26, 26 verse 25. Oh, 26, verse 25. Yeah. Read the scripture. It says 18 all the way to 28. Right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is now, 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 what's so crazy? Look what he says up in, 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 the, in, the, in the bold letters. He say, sad, sad, ob, sad uh, observation. Oh, you see it? No, put that on the camera. Put that on the camera real yeah. quick. Say, put sad that, observation. Put that on the camera real quick. They you see, what, how, you see how up, Satan bro. is? They know what's up. You see what say? Satan is uh, admitting stuff from the Bible, right? I hope that can come in so brothers and sisters can see that, yeah. right? We trying to get something from the GNT, right? But matter of fact, um, let's let's go about it another way. Look up the definition of dog. Get Sirach twenty six and twenty five out of the apocrypha, right? So we can't go about it a whole another way, cause yeah. Satan, we we hit to your um devices, uh, right? And you not getting one over on us, right? Because guess what, niggas know how to read nowadays, right? right? So you not fitting to get one over on us, right? Look at Sirach 26 and 25. This is Look at Sirach chapter 26, verse 25. Come on. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. It should be counted as a what? As a dog. So this is what we're going into. A shameless woman shall be counted as a as a dog. No, no, no. Get the definition of oh snap. Yeah, that's good. Now, so that's what it is. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So what's the definition of this uh, word? Bring it, read that real quick. Ah, uh, the defini definition of uh of uh bitch, which is the a definition of a what? Of a bitch. Come on. A female dog. A what? A female dog. Now read that real quick. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So we fitting to leave y'all alone because y'all dogs, right? Until you shake the fleas off you, until you go and you be baptized in this living and breathing, this living water, right? These holy scriptures, right? We fitting to leave y'all alone because y'all bugged out, right? And that's what we fitting to do with our people, right? We got brothers and sisters that hate you, you know. For um for telling the uh the um the word of God. Matter of fact, finish that up real quick. Let's talk about the, the, the righteous woman that's on there. But she but she that is shamefaced Come on. will fear the Lord. But she that is shamefaced it shall fear the Lord, right? So we not just bring out the bad, we bring out the good too, right? And we bring out the ugly, the ugliness of our people, right? Get uh first John. First John uh chapter three, right? And yeah, that, that was kind of crazy. They just admitted that wow. from the GNT. Because like, <laughs> it says it, what it says is that a shameless woman shall be counted as a bitch. That's what it says in the GNT. Right, right. To add or take away from the word, and that's why Esau died, man. That's what they just did. Side observation. First John two and what? Uh, First John no, chapter three. He says scripture yeah. says uh, uh, the uh, the scripture offended the scripture offended you. Uh, some some. Like, oh no, get that. It's in Matthew. It's in Matthew chapter twenty four. Look around between uh, 6 and uh, 9. Uh, read what you got. Because brothers and sisters hate us for telling this truth, right? And they and they hate us really without a just cause because all we're doing is the work of the Lord, right? So read that real quick, uh, 14, chapter 14 and verse 15. Come, this is the book of John, First John, chapter 3, verse 15, 14. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. What verse is that? 14. Where, yeah, come on. 
Verse 15, whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Who, he, who, who, he whoever what? Hateth his brother is a murderer. And it's a whole lot of uh, murderers out here, right? Y'all not just picking up guns and knives and killing our people. Y'all killing our people spiritually because you're not letting them turn into what they're supposed to be, right? A child with a heavenly father, mentally, spiritually, and physically, right? You're putting them down, right? You're belittling them, right? It's cool. But you know, you know, you know, we know we know that Jake, you know, love clown and everything. But at some point in time, you gotta big up your brother. You gotta tell your brother that it's gonna be sunshine after the rain from time to time. Read fifteen again. Verse fifteen: Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Come on. And ye know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. Right, and and all y'all ain't gonna have eternal life. Y'all keep going around murdering your brothers and sisters spiritually, right? You know I mean, and this is why we letting y'all alone in these last days. All y'all wicked uh, niggas and niggerettes. You see that? Um, what you got? Oh, you got that? Uh, Hold up, I got it. There's one. I think there's one. Um, no, I got it. It's uh, it's 24. What you looking for? Uh, Mini should be offended. Verse 10. Read that real quick. 24 and 10. Matthew 24, verse uh, verse 10. Come on. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And, and that's what it is. A, a lot of people is hating one another, right? Because all we trying to do is tell the truth, right? And people hate us for rebuking, right? That's what it is. You know, hold up. Let me take this verse out of the Bible. I, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound that nice to my ears. All right. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me omit that from the Bible. Right, is it's not it's not good for my child to read a uh, bitch in the Bible, right? Maybe she won't grow up to be one once she understands what one is, right? Re yeah. Read it real quick. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter nine, verse eight. Their tongue is an as an arrow shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart lieth his way. Verse verse nine. Shall I not visit them for these things, saith the Lord? Shall my soul not be avenged on such a nation as this? Right, and the Lord's going to vision all of these nations. But first, he says his judgment going to start first at the house of uh, Judah, right? The house of uh, Israel. That's where his judgment going to start off, right? At the house of Jacob. And, and it's going to be, it's going to trickle on down to these other nations. And we've been being afflicted. But guess what? It's more affliction coming for all y'all that don't want to follow the Lord in sincerity and in truth. Right now, let's talk about y'all Hebrew Christian lights for a minute, right? Because right? y'all want to go to church and think, oh well, you know, okay, I know I'm a a, a Hebrew Israelite, but I'ma still go to church. I'ma praise the Lord. White people can be saved, right? Get uh Isaiah fourteen and one, right? Get uh um um Isaiah sixty, right? White people can be saved. I mean, y'all won't go completely against the scriptures just to satisfy y'all own lustful desires. Because y'all love y'all slave master, right? And we don't get two dams about our slave master. That's right. right. We'll crack him upside the head when our big brother come back because he told us not to put our hands against these demons right now. Right. So read what you got. One in uh, 14 and 1. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. Come on. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. No, he's going to have mercy on the whole world. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. That's it. Point blank period. Come on. And will yet choose Israel. Come on. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Come on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their, to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the, in the, in the, land of the Lord for servants and, and, and handmaids. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have workers. Right. Real, real, real hard Firing this work, right? It, it's it, we can't even fathom how hard we're gonna work these people, right? Come on. And they shall take them captive, whose captives they were, right? They and they shall rule over their over their oppressors, and they shall rule over their oppressors. But look, this is one of my favorite verses of this whole chapter, right? Read verse three, right? And it shall come to pass come on. in the day that the Lord shall give thee. Race from the uh, shall do what shall de, shall give thee race and I bet you uh, one race. big mama to get some rest right. right come in from working right you got your dad uncles working right forty five hour sixty hour shifts you working all these shifts and right. there the Lord shall give thee what rest from that from thy sorrow come on 
and from that uh, from thy fear and from from thy hard bondage wherein thou uh, thou was made to serve. So we serve hard bondage. Ain't it only fair and just that they serve hard bondage? Right, uh, read it real quick, 16 and 10. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. It's Matthew 15, come on. And their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I had mercy on, on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. And they shall not be shut day nor night, mm -hmm. that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. Verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Shall what? Shall perish. Come on. Yet those nations shall be utterly wasted. They're going to die if they don't want to serve the children of the Lord. That's what the Holy Bible says. Uh -huh. So y'all can be, you know, uh, Christians with fringes. Y'all can do all that if you want. Y'all play around with this Bible, but the Lord is going to afflict our people for not wanting to bow down to this word. Bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61, verse 5. And strangers shall stand and feed your flock. Come on. And the sons of aliens shall be your plow men and your vine what are the sons of what? Strangers, the sons of aliens, Come on. shall be your plow men and your vine dressers. And don't they, wait that what they say to the so called Mexicans and Spanish? They call them aliens. But in reality, they aliens. God. Right, they aliens and demons because they came in here on 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 the pre notion that you know hold up we're being oppressed so can you help us you know because we're being oppressed and they turned around and been no oppressors right so all y'all Christian Hebrew Israelites we leaving y'all alone right we leaving y'all alone and letting the Lord deal with y'all read that real quick fifteen and fourteen fifteen and fourteen uh, this is the book of uh, Matthew chapter fifteen verse fourteen let them alone. <laughs> Thy blind, uh, they be blind leaders of the blind. Mm -hmm. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall in the ditch. And y'all Christians, and y'all Hebrews are like Christians especially, y'all going to fall in the ditch. Because y'all yeah. know your identity, but then y'all still don't want to heed to the Bible. Because it's just it just sounds too horrible, right, that these nations is going to go into captivity. Right. Well, we sitting here and we rejoicing over it, right? We sit here and we, we, we literally drink. Off, off of knowing that these nations are going to get put in the bargains for all that they did to us, all that they did to our big brother, right? Yeah, how was Shah So, what you got? Uh, Isaiah 9 and 16. Nah, 16. Just, just going into uh, Matthew 15. Matthew 15. Hold that, John. Get go back at uh, 2 and 19, right? Because we're going to fit to go into this real quick. I mean, we're fit to go into, uh, you know, because you got you got our people going around and it doesn't matter. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you straight plainly. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, your brother, you know, you're my auntie, you're my cousin. L listen, it don't matter. Right. I don't give a damn about Islam. I'm going to tell you that straight. Right. All the posters you want to put up and all right. that stuff like that. I don't get too hot dams about that. Right. right? You want to go around and say, oh, don't believe in the Bible, but you don't see your identity in the Quran. But then you want to try to go and uh, uh, condemn the Bible, right? And that shows your history, right? And your heritage. You can't even teach your history to your own kids, right? Right. But then you go and condemn the literature, right? The word of the Heavenly Father, I mean, that shows your history in it, right? Y'all some backwards people, right? But we finna uh, go, go into this real quick, though. Um, read this real quick. Uh, what you got? What you got? Mm, uh, Oh, yeah, 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 read that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And that's what we're doing. We up here bringing out the Holy Scriptures about things that's going to happen to people that inflicted us, right? All these people that have inflicted us, that mocked us, ridiculed us, called us Power Rangers, called us all this other stuff. You know, say that we were dumb, right? Didn't the sister in Baltimore, I mean, I'm calling the sister and I'm trying to tell her that God love her. What she told me, she told me to shut the F up or something like that. Yeah, I mean, like, this this, this is what goes on. And and our people going to pay heavy prices for that. Um, Just a little bit more. Come on. Verse 7, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And the flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not good, not know that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. 
right? And the Lord going to take vengeance on all these people, these nations and the two thirds of our people. He's going to take mighty vengeance on y'all, right? Because y'all was told the gospel, y'all was given the good news and y'all rejected it. So in the day of the Lord, when y'all come begging to him, oh God, oh God, please save me. He going to reject you, right? We, uh, hold it. Well, we can fit into going to this real quick. This uh, from Babylon in Timber two, right? And who uh, and who wrote this? This is a scholar. He was a um, he was a professor at Temple, right? And he went and did travels, and he traveled to the Middle East. So we're gonna read what he said about y'all, so called beloved uh, prophet, right? Uh, read it real quick. It was on uh, forty five, uh, the middle part where it says Muhammad was born. Uh, Babylon Timber two, page forty five. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. No, they were just worshiping Allah. Read that again. The sun, stars, spirits, and idols. Come on. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. Come on. Muhammad was born in 570 AD, four years after the death of the emperor Justinian. 500, 500, and what did that say, 70? Uh, 70 AD. Right, the script, holy scriptures was already compiled by that time. Uh, right, so what are y'all talking about? Right, hold on. Uh, matter of fact, uh, drop down this part real quick. After Muhammad became a camel driver. After Muhammad became what? A camel driver. So after Muhammad became a camel driver. So let me ask you this: What is most Saudi Arabian or sand niggas in um in New York? Because New York is you know the so-called mecca of America, right? The uh, the big uh, spot to be. What what is 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 uh is a bunch of uh, Arabs um um in New York, they're they they're, they're hackmen, they're taxi drivers. So read that part again. After Muhammad became a camel driver. Right after Muhammad became a camel driver, come on. He traveled to remote and intriguing lands. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, transacting business with merchants of every kind. On his business trips, he met Jews. Christians and members of other sects. He interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religion. He frequented the environments of the Jews and their rabbis, mostly because they were merchants and and had an, an omnipresent. omnipresent ethnic group. Right, omnipresent. We believed in one God. And just like black people do all the time, we, we always talk about our business. Hey, then you hear about our God, Yahweh. Uh, right. Like we we <laughs> just go around, we telling everybody, like, I mean, uh, like, just like today. Like, we'll get into a, a, a Uber car today and just start talking, talking uh, to people, right? We, we're we known for that. Corner stores. Matter of fact, I think it's, uh, I think it was something that I skipped. Hold up. Matter of fact, go back up to, uh, uh, yeah, his, uh, yeah. Uh, his mentality was uh, prodig prodigious. In, in his youth, he was never taught to read or write. He was what? He was never taught to read or write. So let me translate for you, for that, for y'all in modern time. It said he didn't know how to read or write. So let me translate that for y'all. In modern time, Muhammad would be on the yellow bus, the right. short one, uh, right? Uh, and he'd be the one with the helmet on. You see that? <laughs> right. You know what I'm All saying? <laughs> so, that, so, so that's what's going on. Uh, read, read what you got, Habakkuk 2 and 9. Khan. This is uh, the book of Habakkuk uh, 2, verse 9. Woe unto him, the covetous, an evil covetousness, to, uh, to his house. That's 2 and 19. Oh, I thought, oh. Yeah, back at 2 and 19. 2 and 19. Yeah. Woe unto him that said to the wood, awake, to the dumb stone. And to the what? To the dumb stone. He said to the cobbler, come on. Arise, ye X, shall teach. X, bro. Arise, ye shall teach, come on. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. Right, and it's not Allah. Right, y'all can bow down and worship it, try to so-called bow down to the east and bow down towards the stone, but it's no breath in it. Right, it's a dead stone. There's no life in it. It's dead, and you're gonna be dead. Keep worshiping it. Right, so-called family or not. This is how we coming now, because the Lord put the spirit on us to not. To not uh, try to tiptoe, walk around, well, hold up their family. L listen, man, y'all going to die if y'all don't repent. That's all I got for y'all. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's all I got. Read uh, verse 38. Come on, this is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 38. Come on. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men. And that's what y'all better start doing to us. 
because y'all don't really know if we men of the Lord. Y'all up here just treat us like nobody, but y'all y'all would be surprised if y'all find out that we actually be these men of the Lord. Right? Come on. For this, refrain from these men and let them alone. Come on. For if this counsel or this work be of men. Right. If this counsel or this labor that we doing, if it be of men, come on. It will come to naught. Right. You're going to see it come to nothing. You're going to see me uh, back to smoking weed. Right. But that's just not happening. Right. Come on. Uh, verse 39. But if it be of God. You but cannot, if this counsel be of the heavenly father, come on. Ye cannot overthrow it. Y'all can't do a damn thing about it. Right. And that's what the Lord said. And that's, and I mean, and that's, and that's, and that's just how we coming now. Right. right. We letting y'all niggas alone, man. Just like that. Right. We kicking the dust off of our feet. Like Yahweh Shah told his disciples to do. Right? We're not going around, hey, please take this word. You're an Israelite. Please, please, please. No, listen, take this word or die. How about do that? Right? right. How about do that now? So you got something? No, I was just going to add a little bit to that too. In the, um, in the wilderness, the most High said he gave to us life and death. It was straight like that. He didn't say, oh, Please, pretty please, pretty please choose life. He just said, I set before you life and death. Kind of, yeah, that, choose life. Matter of fact, it's in with that. That's in uh, Deuteronomy. That's 30 uh, and 19, uh, right? And I mean, that's a powerful scripture. And that's what it is. You know I mean, like, that's what y'all got. Y'all don't got, y'all don't got multi. It's not no multi option, uh, John. Like, where it's uh, 70 options. Y'all only got two. Y'all either got sunshine or y'all got thunderstorm, right? Uh, Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you mm -hmm. that I have set before you life and death. Right. No, I, I set before you sunshine and then a rainbow. Life and death. Uh, life and death. Come on. Blessing and cursing. Come on. Therefore, choose life. Therefore, choose what? Life. Y'all better choose these holy scriptures in these God. last days. Right. This is the only thing that's keeping people alive. Right. right. Come on. That both thou and thy seed may live. That you and your seed talk about your little ones. Right, that they may live. God. So if y'all want to live, y'all better turn to the Lord in fear and sincerity. Right, and with that, I hope brothers and sisters get edified. And until next time, we bid a uh, shalom. Shalom.